finger sore from using the trackpad, so I'm down in the office. I want to get two more done today. Talks, the AGM over at Brothers Downtown had loves hiking. He'll go Saturday morning and then be back for work. Hiking is definitely one thing on my list I want to start doing more. And we were gonna go tomorrow, go to Aspen, climb up, go down for lunch, heck, check out this like diving pool or something like that, and come back. But we're changing it to next week just because everyone's plans don't work out too much, which still works out so I can celebrate fried chicken day tomorrow. I can't forget. I'm gonna do Maddie Matheson's recipe. I'm gonna get more work done then. Um, I'm gonna try to get two more videos done by the end of the day. Maybe start working on, hopefully start working on Trent's graphics as well. He's got a new podcast coming up, and so we really want to streamline everything and make everything clean before we launch. Another fun project to start, but uh, today's work day. Sorry, it's boring day. I dropped this camera a millionth time. I'm going to show you something really quick that I do with my videos. Sorry for the static line here, but as you can see, hold on, can I focus this? Too close, too close for comfort. What was I getting? screen capture, but I've never really done that yet. So, I do a lot of time lapses where I just speed up time to show literally just the change in time or that I'm switching scenes. For instance, mm -hmm. I have for instance, I have this part here which is just normal Trent getting to his car and I have this next section here mm -hmm. this, gi this giant piece that I would like to shorten up and since I'm musically oriented, I kind of sync everything with music as it is. So I find out how far I want it to go, just by the feel. I want to go there, so I want to make this change, and the only way I know how, if there's another way, please tell me, but is to right click and change the speed duration. Now it's a percentage here, and I don't know the percentage exactly because I mean, if you zoom out, this this thing is quite large, but you can see that you can see that this is the size that I need to fit it in, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe nine different copies. So let's try nine hundred percent. And the game I play with myself while I am editing is to try to get the percentage exactly right on the first try. I've only done this once. I've gotten it close multiple times, but I've only successfully typed in a percentage and got it exactly where I wanted to. So we're going to try this out. I'm going to say around 900 to start. So speed, I'm going to type in 900. And when I press enter, you'll see that it changes. Ooh! So I'm a little more. But that's the kind of game I play with myself to see how many, how, how it's like golf, how many, how the least amount of tries it takes me to get down there. So I'm going to try 1,000. It's definitely not moving that much. I'll jump up to 1300, 1200. I stay with even numbers just because I'm OCD. Almost there, 1250. Boom. 1250 got my line right on the dot there. Back to editing. So I got this couch my, technically my senior year, my fourth year of college. I spent a lot of years at college. So I got this couch for free from a friend that worked in the dorms that also lived above my other friend who had a cool loft and the same couch. And when I was looking for a wraparound for my first apartment, she said that her sister had the exact same couch that she wanted to get rid of for free. So my girlfriend at the time let me borrow her uncle's truck since we had nothing else to use. I drove like three hours into the middle of Iowa, picked up this couch, came back, and I've had it. I had it for two years. I had it at Sterling Apartments, and I had it at University Mills, and then I moved into my grandparents' house to watch it while they were gone, 
and it sat in my basement for the longest time. This part was part of a studio, the smaller part. This is the first time it's been anywhere. It wasn't comfortable when we first sat down. Uh, half the springs fell out, and the rest of the cow and the rest of the couch pretty much had to support itself with those few springs. So I'm gonna put the other springs back, add some support, and do some funky stuff with this so it's more comfortable again. This one over here, I laid a couple blankets down, which helped, but I'm gonna need a little bit more padding. So I have an idea. The three R's. So you may notice that I have a stack load of plastic Walmart grocery bags here um, until I can find the rest of my padding. Or actually, I have this couch additive that I left in Cedar Falls. If I can get that, I can lay that down, which will work perfectly. But until then, I'm gonna see if I can recycle these hundreds of plastic bags as cushions. so proud to have finally hung up in our humble abode. Abode? Is that the correct word? Humble yeah. abode? Yeah, yeah. humble abode. Where does that come from? Um, abode. Humble. French. There it is. It's, hey, Clarence. It's 2 a.m. and he wants to put the foosball table together. <laughs> it's like 9.45. These are facts. Of life. Let's check. Got the new Fitbit finally. Shout out Fitbit for sending me a new one. They really took care, but I already scratched it. I can't even zoom in. I'm supposed to you flick it. It's supposed to show you the. Hold on. You flick it. I'm supposed to like an Apple Watch. There we go. There. So what up? I hope we have enough camera for this. Okay, what's up? Ooh. Um, I've been I've been awesome. wanting to do this forever, and we finally had a chance. We were all here, all four roommates. I bought these like three years ago in Boulder, Colorado, to go to like festivals. I thought it'd be cool, but I totally forgot about them in a box until now. So we're gonna test out some long exposure shots, and I got the GoPro out there doing a nighttime lapse. We'll see how this all turns out. Oh, I need some more wine. Wow, yeah, finger awesome. lights. Is this here? Very easy. You're about to see what That's good. It's actually. Yeah, we're gonna. It's, technically, it should be. It's called a long exposure. The shutter opens up longer. I tell it how long. And it. Think of something you'd like. If this works out, then we can t t go back and design it. And we can even mechanize it. That's not the right word to use. Hey, these are the lights. Um, they look pretty cool, actually. <laughs> 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 Realtors are sexy. I'm like, pieces delivery.